Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing today. All right, y'all, what's going on, man? Just wanted to chop it up really quick about this uh, Crawford and uh, Spence aftermath of the fight. My second video after this fight. It was a big fight, man. We were all waiting for this fight. Anticipation was crazy. Um, But what I want to talk about is, you know, I'm hearing a lot of fans, and this is all over the place, not just on YouTube, not just on, uh, I mean, it's all over social media, man. Um instagram twitter just reading comments uh, listening to people go back and forth about this and i'm hearing a lot of you know people saying that you know this isn't the same arrow spence um look man i i believe if you get into any type of car accident or something like that and, and go through the type of damage that he was able to go through even though he was able to, you know, beat Danny Garcia and Yugas and uh, things like that, it's going to take something out of you. You know what I'm saying? We're look, man. We're all just human. You know what I mean? Now, with that said, though, it's not to me. It's not so much that um, he didn't look the same. It's like, of course. Now, as far as in the ring with Terrence Crawford, of course he didn't look the same because he's never had Terrence Crawford in front of him. He's never had to deal with those problems. Yes, he's dealt with guys that are considered really good counter punchers like a Danny Garcia, but Danny Garcia can't hit you from he doesn't have the punch variation that a Terrence that a, a Terrence Crawford has. So you're dealing with somebody that not only is he a counter puncher, but he can counter, he can lead, he can tie up on the inside with you, he can fight you on the inside. He was just as strong, if not stronger than Spence. So he's never had to deal with that in front of him. Not so much that he's a different fighter. Now, I will say that, look, man, that's with anybody, with anybody, with any just humans for damn boxing, just humans, man. Like you go through a you know traumatic situation like that's going to take something out of you, man. But still, he was still good enough to be Garcia, like I said, in Yugas. But at the same time, though, man, he's never had Terrence Crawford in front of him. He's never had to deal with somebody, and Crawford pretty much fought that whole fight southpaw. But still, man, he's he's throwing punches from angles and throwing that jab the way he was throwing it. He never had somebody like Terrence Crawford in front of him. To me, that's the main reason why he lost. And that's also the main reason why he didn't look as the same. Because you had somebody like Terrence Crawford in front of you, man. So, of course, you're not going to look the same when you got that type of problem that you don't know how to figure out in front of you. He couldn't bully him. He couldn't mow him down. He couldn't break him. So, he had to go to a plan B. And what's his plan B? A lot of people say he can fight off the back foot. What, the Mikey Garcia fight? That was your indication he can fight off the back foot? For fans to say that, that's because he was in control of everything. He was winning the coming forward battle. He was kind of playing with his food in that fight. Like, man, I can beat you coming forward. But you know what? I'm going to, you know, I'm going to uh, beat you, you know, throwing a jab and trying to be, you know, show some outboxing type of skills. He couldn't do that. He couldn't. He didn't have that luxury against Terrence Crawford because when he did take a step back, Crawford was on his ass with pressure, pumping that jab in his face, not letting him breathe, not letting him react. Mikey Garcia, if you guys go watch that fight, man, literally after every round, even if the rounds that Garcia lost, he was like pumping his fist. He was just in survival mode, man. Like, yeah, I survived another round. I survived another round. I'm sitting there like, what are you pumping your fist for, dog? Like, you're losing every round. So it's easy to seem as if you have this plan B back foot. You can fight from the outside game against a person who's in pure survival mode with a way, way shorter reach. And they can't do nothing with you when you do create some separation because his arms aren't long enough. His jab couldn't get to you like that. He didn't have that type of jab that Terrence Crawford has. So I'm going to end this though, man. But he didn't look the same because he's never had Terrence Crawford in front of him.